saw some smoke or oh, some dirt kick up. I think somebody slid on that corner. Standing up. <laughs> Changed his mind. Ah. Oh, oh, come, come on. on. That looked like a headshot. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> What's going on exploders? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at a new gun to the market, a new gun to me, and that's the Silverback TAC-41. This gun was sent to me by Silverback because when the SRS originally came out, which is still to this date is my favorite airsoft replica that I own, uh, I did a lot of videos for that and they actually appreciated some of the feedback, so they were kind enough to reach out and send me this new gun, but I will not let that sway my opinion. So a little bit about the gun, it's a fictional design, but it does look a lot like the Remington M700 Magpul variant. Uh, it's very ergonomic, it's got M-Lock on the front, adjustable uh, cheek riser, it has QD slings, which I am using for a sling here. It also has a quick access top-down rotary hop-up adjustment, and it has a rail on top to mount optics. I did modify it a little bit, I added a rail towards the front that locks into the M lock slots where I mounted my zoom camera as well as a PEX style box that houses a battery to further power the camera throughout the day. The gun is shooting 400 FPS right out of the box. Uh, it's completely stock internally. The nice thing is you could use SRS parts like the spring to upgrade the power. My probably favorite feature about it is how smooth the bolt is. It has this nice two position handle when it's locked or unlocked which most of the rifles don't, they, the bolt kind of flip-flops there, sometimes you find it halfway up. Um, this is nice and crisp, it's either locked in or it's unlocked so you can pull it back. And the bolt is extremely smooth, it's the smoothest bolt action rifle bolt I've ever uh, manipulated. But without further ado, let's get into some gameplay. We're using the POV camera that gives you that true first person experience as you're probably used to on this channel. And you'll see how the gun operates and I'll let you know my thoughts as we go. The best person I've ever seen. There's a guy, you see that guy? In the doorway? Right there, by the, by the white thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got him. <laughs> Hell yeah, Doc. <laughs> you can see in the position I'm in here, I'm forced to shoot off my left hand, but one of the features I forgot to mention is on this gun, you could quickly change the bolt from left to right for you left handed users. Oh, I see a couple right here. There's a guy by the blue container just looking over here. Nice. I attacked that guy, he didn't want to take it. I'm gonna scoot up to these, these containers here. One running, middle. Left side moving up. Alright. Look, look, you can see us, Kaylee, by the blue container. I guess he doesn't want to go out. Fine. Okay, we'll give us some more. You yeah. Want some more? You want some more? You get more. Oh no, he took it. He took it. Now, because this gun was only shooting 400 FPS, I had no minimum engagement distance. So you would think I'm sort of at a disadvantage compared to a 400 FPS AEG. But because of the accuracy and the hop up on this gun, I'm actually able to reach further than stock guns shooting around 400 FPS. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, yo, yo! Already on the right side. In the bunker, in the bunker! Oh, blue crate, hey, blue crate, go ahead. He's hiding behind us. Okay. Got him. Kaylee, where you at? Kayla, right. coming to you. Oh. Yeah, they're all up here. 
You can keep pushing up, they're going so slow. Oh, got the other one. Oh, he's there, he's there. As I mentioned, the bolt is extremely smooth and allows for quick follow-up shots, even when you hit the bunker right in front of you, because you're keeping your barrel a little too low. I'm gonna get to the church, Kayla. Yeah, he's at the power fair. You guys, oh shit, he has a guy in the window. The range on this gun is really nice, considering it's only shooting 400 FPS. The hop up is really well dialed in, but swapping in that higher spring off an SRS could really make it even that more dominant from longer ranges on the field. Oh, he's just, he's just exposed. Okay, now he's I back see, I see a guy there, right there. Yeah. He's back there. Oh, I got him. Are you speaking again? <laughs> Tag them on the road. There's another one, same place. Oh, God. What is that? This guy's head is just out, dude. You can't get this guy? I'm getting freaking like crazy lobs happening. Now this was the only real downside of the gun is once in a while we get a wild flyer that would just go straight to space. Hey. It could possibly be my huh. BBs because I've had these for a couple of years in their bios, but um, I'm not 100% sure in that. So I'm going to leave that as a maybe and I'll have to test that out on future trips. Oh. Oh. Was it ever anything else? Guy looking right now. I see, I see, I see. How about through here? I was extremely impressed with this gun and I was about ready to give it a title of best out of the box, most accurate gun I've ever shot until another gun arrived and now the title's up in question and you have to stay tuned for future videos on that. Got one? Right, right. So I can't move to the... Oh, he's in a gap. Got him. <laughs> this gun is impressive. They really took everything they learned from the SRS and put it here and made it better. I'm excited to upgrade the FPS and honestly I'm gonna leave everything else the same for now and see how it does. Saw some smoke. Oh, some dirt kick up. Think somebody slid on that corner. Standing up. 
Changed his mind. Come on. Oh, come on. That looked like a headshot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> had like uh, one and a half seconds to get that one in there. So stay tuned to see this gun in future videos as well as some other cool stuff coming to the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.